Hey there, I'm going to give you a quick rundown of Bookings for Paperform, our latest feature release. Bookings for Paperform is all about helping you schedule appointments in your forms. I'm going to run you through a couple of examples. The first is a really basic bookings form. I've got some questions already written out here, just name, email address and the purpose of this meeting. I'm going to add another question here, which is pick a time. So most of the functionality of Paperform bookings lies in a single field type, the appointment field. So I'm going to choose appointment field and go to configure which has all of the configuration for this appointment. I'm going to pick a calendar. So these are just Google calendars that are connected and we can choose a time zone for our availability, whether we want to book for minutes like 9.30 to 11.30 or for days like 24th of January to the 27th of January. And we can also pick the time format. So if we jump over to event details, we have the information about the event that's going to be created. By default, the title here is just meeting but I'm going to say meeting with and put in the name of the person who's submitting the form, just using this drop down here. And for the description, I'm going to put in what is the purpose of this meeting. So that's the question that I'm asking there so that the description comes through. And we have the start time interval, which is if we want meetings to start every 15 minutes or every 30 minutes or every 60 minutes. Uh, we can control that there, just leave it at 15. And we can choose whether the length of time is chosen by the submitter uh, so that's as they're answering this question they'll be able to control how when the meeting starts and when it ends or if we want it to just be a fixed amount of time so 15 through to 120 and there's also a custom option down here if you want to add your own time or if you want to take that time piped from a different answer from a different question that's possible there too so I'll just leave it at 30 minutes for the moment and I'll put in the email address of the person who's submitting the form up here we have availability. By default, with a Google Calendar connected, we're gonna automatically prevent you from being double booked. That's handled automatically, but on top of that, we wanna set general availability hours. You don't want people booking meetings for you at 2 a.m. in the morning. So here we have nine to five from Monday to Friday. I might add in an extra day. Sometimes I work Saturdays. Nine to five on Saturday, we can delete days if we want. I'll delete Wednesday. We can add multiple time segments per day as well. Uh, we can block out periods of time, so I might want to block out 25th through to the 28th in this form. Um, say I'm going on holidays and I don't want to take meetings then. Then we have number of days in advance an appointment can be made, minimum number of hours notice, and a whole bunch of other little extra configuration options that set rules for when meetings can be made using this field. So that's it. That's a really basic example. I'm going to just show you how that works from the submitter's perspective. So, say my name's Bill, and my net email address is bill at paperform.co, and the purpose of the meeting is to talk about appointments. So, here we have our calendar. It's very simple. We can change time zones if we want. So, we automatically detect the time zone of the person who's submitting the form. They're going to see it in their time, not your time, if you're working with people in different time zones. Uh, so I'll, I'll pick, a, pick a random day, so I'll pick the 4th here of Feb and I'll book a half hour slot out at 10am. So it's meeting with Bill, Tuesday the 4th of Feb, 10 to 10.30am and I hit submit. So what happens when I hit submit is that event goes and gets created in Google Calendar. Uh, Bill will get an invite to that meeting and I'll obviously get a form submission and it'll be my calendar sitting there ready for the 4th. And that's it. There's a really quick overview of how you can use bookings for paper form. This is just the tip of the iceberg though. There's lots of other amazing use cases that come up from having bookings inside of our form builder. For example, you could calculate the price of the form and charge that price based on the length of time that appointment is for. For example, booking accommodation on the number of nights that are selected. Or if you are a lawyer or an accountant and you want to charge for your meetings, you could use a form like we just set up there. Or let the submitter choose how long the meeting is for and charge them for that time. That's all possible. You could also calculate how long an appointment should be and book that in in the same form, which is great for use cases where you're quoting on a service and you know how long that service is going to take. There are lots of opportunities there. We're really excited to see what you come up with and we know you're going to love this.